Hello everyone, uh, this is a tutorial that will show you how to access Clever. Clever is a system that the district uses to store a number of resources that our students can use at home, especially now that all learning will have to be done remotely. As for step number one, you just need to open Google Once you have done that, then you need to type clever.com. Hit enter. This will take you to a web page, and in this part, you can see an option that says login as a student. You are going to click on that. Sometimes, for validation purposes, the system will ask you to type the school's name. In this case, my computer already recognizes Clever as my campus. Now we can see an option here that says login with Google. We are going to click on that. And that will take you to this web page that basically asks you to choose an account. In this case, the, the system already recognizes my credentials, so I'm going to skip that part and I'm going to. I'm going to instead, I'm going to click on this option that says use another account. Now here, the system asks you to type either an email or a phone number. In this case, we are going to create an email for your student. In order to access Clever, you need to have your child's student ID number. If you don't have that number, then you should request it from your child's teacher. You are going to type that student ID number. And for the purposes of this tutorial, I am typing a number that I already know. Once you do that, you are going to type at and then lowercase d a l l a s i s d dot o r g. And basically, the system will recognize that as an email for your student. Now you are going to click on next. In the area where it says enter your password, you are going to type uppercase d as in David and then lowercase s i at one six one seven and that's the password for all and every student within the district once you click on next then you will be taken directly to the clever website here we can see different sections we have a feature section we have help resources student applications uh, student tools, etc., etc. And let's let me go back. Here I see there is a the iStation icon, which is pretty much used across all elementary schools within the district. We also have Can Academy Kids, which is a good resource for the practice of math. Now, if we just click on those two icons. that will automatically take those two resources and place them under your favorite resources section for easier access. Now, it is important to note that if you access iStation directly from Clever, it is not necessary to enter usernames nor passwords anymore. The system will take your student directly to the main page in his or her iStation account. If we scroll a little bit further down, we can see another that section, student tools. Oh, here, here it is. Here we have Google Classroom that many, if not all teachers will be using to provide lessons, provide instruction, assignments, activities, homework, or just to communicate. You can also click on that icon. And now you can see it is now under our favorite resources section. Now, take into consideration that Clever might look a bit different for different grade levels. 
but since I am using a pre-K student ID number, the resources here are just those that a student of that age might realistically need. Well, I think that's all that I have for you, and I hope this will help you with your at-home learning. Thank you.